गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टार्टेड आवर डेरिएशन फॉर स्टीपनेस मैट्रिक्स एलिमेंटल स्टीपनेस मैट्रिक्स फॉर आइसोपैरामेट्रिक एलिमेंट ओके सो इन विच वी हैव डिराइव अप टू द जेकोबियन मैट्रिक्स सिस्टम ओके सो इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिराइव अप टू दिस स्टेप ओके अप टू दिस फर्स्ट इक्वेशन वी हैव डिराइव आवर फर्स्ट इक्वेशन इट मीन्स वॉट डो बाय डो जीटा इज इक्वल टू डो बाय डो जीटा डो बाय डो जीटा डो बाय डो जीटा इज इक्वल टू दिस जेकोबियन मैट्रिक्स which includes this four terms j11 j12 j21 j22 into do by do x do by do y this vector okay simply we have written this matrix as a j matrix okay so here we have actually derived our equation to get the elemental or stiffness matrix for isoparametric element okay so we just started our procedure from the natural coordinates to Uh, global coordinates means we have already discussed uh, how to determine the cartesian coordinates from the natural coordinates but if we need to determine the strain value for this isoparametric element it means if we need to determine the this strain value is epsilon x epsilon y and gamma xy we need these terms for epsilon okay, we need this epsilon x we need to determine this do u by do x similarly for epsilon y do we by do y and for gamma x means shear strain in this isoparametric element at any point we need do u by do y plus do v by do x so it means we need this four terms do u by do x do v by do y do u by do y and do v by do x if we are willingly if we need this epsilon x epsilon y and gamma x y terms Okay, so to get these terms, we need these four parameters, and for getting these four parameters, we have just started our derivation in the previous lecture, and we completed or we uh, left this derivation at this stage. Okay, so at this stage, we have one equation. It is nothing but this do by do zeta, do by do eta. This first vector is equal to this J matrix means Jacobian matrix is equal to this second vector. Okay, so but here our The requirement is what we need this do by do x do by do y okay means do u by do x do v by do y similarly do u by do y and do v by do x so it means we need to convert this equation into this system means we need this vector on LHS side and remaining terms on RHS side so it means we need to convert this equation like that so we can convert this equation like So simply, this J matrix will get inverse on this RHS side. So it means we can write this as do by do x do by do y is equal to J inverse into do by do zeta do by do e. Okay. So simply we can write J inverse. Now J inverse is what? It is nothing but J11 star J12 star J21 star J22 star. Why? Because we can determine this Jacobian matrix. If we did, if we have the Jacobian matrix or the values, if we have the values of this Jacobian matrix, then we can simply determine the inverse of this jacobian matrix so this j11 star j12 star j21 star and j22 star these are the elements of this inverse jacobian matrix because we can determine the inverse inverse of this jacobian matrix because we have the jacobian matrix terms so we can easily determine the inverse jacobian matrix and these are the terms of the inverse jacobian matrix okay j11 star to j22 star these are the terms which are of this inverse jacobian matrix okay so simply we can write do by do x do by do y is equal to this inverse jacobian matrix into this vector okay now okay simply now here our requirement is what we need do u by do x do u by do y then d do v by do x and do v by do it means we need these four terms so if we simply write down 
do u by do x and do v by do y by using this equation we can get do u by do x do u by do y is equal to do u by do zeta do u by do y simple similarly if we write in terms of v we will get do v by do x do v by do y equal to this j matrix j inverse into do v by do zeta do v by do e. okay so it means we can write do u by do x do u by do y in terms of do u by do zeta do u by do eta by using this inverse jacobian matrix similarly we can write in terms of v parameter okay so it means what if we elaborate this j matrix with the help of this equation we can write so we can write it as do u by do x do u by do y is equal to j inverse j inverse means j11 star j12 star j21 star j22 star into do do u by do zeta do u by do e simply here i have simplified this j inverse matrix and written here only okay means this vector is same and this vector is also same only j inverse is simplified here. similarly we can write do v by do x and do v by do y so simply do v by do x do v by do y is equal to what j11 star j12 star j21 star j22 star into do v by do zeta do v by do okay so here we have written this two equations on simplified okay so we can combine these two equations into one equation only okay or in one matrix form only so how to combine these two equations in one matrix form so simply we can combine this as actually do u by do x do u by do y this is the first position so if we combine these two equations e do u by do x do u by do y do v by do x and do v by do then what will become how to write this matrix terms so simply we can write j11 star j12 star j21 star sorry j2 j21 star j22 star because for first these two terms this is the matrix position and remaining terms will become equal to zero and finally do u by do zeta do u by do u so simply if we multiply by this two rows to this vector you will get same thing it means this matrix into do u by do zeta into do u by do u similarly we can write now for do u by do x and do u by do y. so it will become here first four terms will become zero and for other four terms this matrix should be there so j11 star j11 star j12 star j21 star j22 star into do v by do x do v by sorry do v by do zeta do v by do okay so simply we can write for do u by do x to do v by do y is equal to this vector is do v by do zeta to do v by do y so in this way we can write these two equations in combined form or combined matrix okay so this is the in in this way we can write in terms of do u by do zeta to do v by do y now 
this equation I'm writing on another side because we need to, okay. So this is the equation. Now next is what? So next, next is what? So we will get here, so we are getting this dou u by dou x to dou v by dou y values. Now we know that the strain values. So strain values, epsilon x, epsilon x is equal to dou u by dou x, epsilon y is equal to dou v by dou x, and it's gamma x, gamma x y is equal to dou u by dou y plus dou v by dou x. It means we need four terms, dou v by dou x, dou v by dou x, dou v by dou x, dou u by dou y plus dou v by dou x. Okay. So we can write this strain values in matrix function. How, to, how it can be written in the matrix form? So simply, epsilon x, epsilon y, gamma x. So we can write these four terms in matrix. So how it can be written? So as we know that dou u by dou x. So for first term we need only one term. For first term we need only one term means dou u by dou x. Okay. So for it, an expression it should be first position, first row, first element, and other elements are z. Because there are four elements in this vector, four elements, which are these four elements? Dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y, dou v by dou x, and dou v by dou. These are the four terms. But for epsilon x, the definition of epsilon x it includes only one term, del u by del x. So epsilon x is equal to 1 times del u by del x. You will get this equation. Similarly, for epsilon y, we need del v by del y. So here, del v by del y, this is the last term. So for last term, it should be unit. One should be there for last term and remaining should be z. So it means if we read epsilon y is equal to 0 into 0, 0 into 0, 0 into 0, plus 1 into del v by del y. So you will get epsilon y is equal to 1 into del v by del y. So epsilon x is correct, epsilon y is correct. Now we need to write down a gamma x y. So how to write down this gamma x y using this system? So we need del u by del y. Now where is the del u by del y? So second position is the del u by del y. So for second position, there should be 1. Okay, similarly, del u by del x. So del u by del x, the position of this del u by del x is third position is the del u by del x. So you need to put 1 for this third position. And the remaining term should be 0. So in this way, you can write the strain vector in terms of the matrix, in, term, in the matrix. Okay. So in this way, we can we have written this in a matrix. So now, so epsilon x, epsilon y, gamma x y is equal to this matrix into this vector. But this vector already we have determined this vector. What is this? Here, this, this vector and this vector is similar. Okay, so instead of this vector, we can put the value from this equation of this vector. So actually, this vector is what? This vector is into this vector. So we can put instead of this vector, we can put this value. So instead of this vector, we can put these values. So what are these values? So instead of this vector, we can put now these values. So J. 1 1 star j 1 2 star j 2 1 star j 2 2 star the remaining 4 terms are 0 then 0 0 0 0 j 1 1 star j 1 2 star j 2 1 star j two so in this way we have written this matrix so we don't need this matrix right now so okay, so in this way we have written this matrix and 
we are showing it to write this vector also. This vector can be written as del u by del d theta, del u by del theta, del u, sorry, del v by del theta, del v. We have written strain vector. So first, we need to determine the strain vector. So strain vector will become strain vector is equal to this matrix into this matrix into this vector. So vectors are in the form of derivatives of the displacements with respect to natural coordinates. Derivative of the displacement with respect to natural coordinates. Theta. Derivative of the displacement in y direction with respect to theta. In y direction with respect to Okay, so first we need to simplify. First we need to simplify this matrix multiplication. Okay, so we and we will simplify this matrix multiplication first. So this will become epsilon x, epsilon y, and gamma x. So matrix multiplication will become. Okay, so this first row. Into first column. Okay, look. This first row into first column. So first row only first term is one. So one into j one one star. J one one star. Other terms are j. Second row into first column. Okay, second row into first column. All three terms are zero. Only last term is one. But here last term is also zero. So second term will become. Zero. Then third row into first column. Here zero into this one zero. One into this one j two one star will be complete. J two one star. Then one into zero zero into zero. Okay. So you, you will get first row. Then next first row into second column. Now first row remaining three terms are zero. So one into this j one two star. So j. One two star will become here. Then second row into this second column. So second row first three terms are zero. First three terms are zero. Also here last term is zero. So one into zero zero. So it will become zero. Then third row into second column. Third row zero into this zero. One into this j two two star. J two two star. Then one into zero zero. Zero into zero zero. Then last finally. This first row into third column. So first row one into zero zero. Other two three terms are zero, so it will become zero. Zero. Then second term, so this second row into this third column. So second row first two terms are zero, first two terms are zero. Third term is also zero, third term is also zero. So one into j two j one into this j two one star. So j two one star. Then third row into fourth column. So first two terms are here zero, so it will become zero. So one into this term, one into j one two star and zero into this zero. So j one two star will become j one two star. And finally, to multiply this last column, so first row one into this column, but one here is one, but here is zero, so it will become zero. And other three terms are also zero, so other three terms are also zero. So it will become zero. Second row into this last column. So what will become? This first terms are zero, first three terms are zero, so it will become zero. So one into this j two two star. One into j two two star will become j two two star. So it will become j two two star. And then final row, last third row, fourth column. So first two terms are zero. So here also first two terms are zero. So one into zero, last two terms. One into this j one two star will become j one two star. Other j J one two star, J one two star. So in this way, you will get this matrix. Del u by del zeta, del u by del zeta, del v by del zeta, and del v by del zeta. So in this way, you will get this. Simplified this matrix multiplication. Okay, so in this way you will get this matrix. So this is four by four. 
matrix okay so j11 star j21 star so this is the matrix multiplication you will get this matrix finally x uh, strain is equal to epsilon x epsilon y gamma x y is equal to this matrix into this vector now so here
plus del n3 by del eta in 2 with 3 plus del n4 by del eta in 2 so in this way you can simplify this del u by del eta del u by del eta del v by del eta and del v by del eta and now this four this is nothing but this vector now this vector can be written we can write this vector in matrix form also okay so as many as here we need this vector only in simplified form in terms of u and v so here we have simplified this del u by del eta to del u by del eta now we can write this vector this equations in simply matrix form so we can write it as so just here i am writing this epsilon x epsilon y and gamma x y here only is equal to c matrix into this values del u by del zeta del u by del eta del v by del zeta and del v by del eta because we are going to replace this vector okay so now how to write this matrix now how these four equations can be written in matrix term matrix form so this del u del u by del zeta del u by del eta del v by del zeta and del v by del eta these four terms we need to write down in matrix form as so here look how to write this form so here we know that for this we need u1 u2 u3 u4 it means your vector should be like that u1 u2 u1 v1 u2 v2 u3 v3 and u4 v3 so if i need if we need to write down this first term so this matrix will contain del n1 by del zeta into u1 second term will become z then third term will become del n2 by del zeta then fourth term will become z then fifth term will become del n3 by del zeta then this term will become zero and finally last term will become del n4 by del zeta so in this way we can write okay so how to write so this will become del n1 by del zeta Zero. Del n two by del zeta. This third term zero. Fourth term zero. Del n three by del zeta. Zero. Into u one v one, u two v two, u three v three, u four and v six. So just. I will explain first equation how I can handle this equation. So del u by del zeta is equal to del n one del n one by del zeta into u one plus zero plus del n two by del zeta into u two plus zero plus del n three by del zeta into u three plus zero plus del n four remaining del n four by del zeta. Into u4 plus z, and this is the matrix. Okay. So in this way, you can write. Similarly, del u by del eta can be written as del n1 by del eta zero. Del n2 by del eta zero, del n3 by del eta zero, del n4 by del eta zero. Now for del u by del eta, first term will become zero, and now second term will become del n1 by del eta. Then this term zero, del n2 by del or zeta, zeta. This will become zero. Then del n3. By del zeta zero and del n four by del zeta. Finally, zero 
del n1 by del e tau 0 del n2 by del e tau 0 del n3 by del e tau 0 and del n4 by del e so this is the final matrix in which we have converted this vector in all displacements u1 v1 u2 v2 u3 v3 and u4 v4 now we can as we know that our matrix relation should be on LHS side there should be some uh, vector form means force vector should be there or display, uh, strain vector should be there or stress vector should be there so on LHS side there is a strain vector is equal to this matrix into now we need to replace this vector by this matrix so here we can replace this vector as so instead of this we can write so simply this epsilon x epsilon y gamma x y is equal to this c matrix into this matrix into this vector so here we will get now this strain values in terms of distance now how to and this multiplication of this C matrix and this matrix is nothing but your stiffness matrix this is nothing but your elemental elemental stiffness matrix for isoparametric So, multiplication of these two matrix will get one matrix and this is known as your B matrix. Okay, so simply this strain is equal to B matrix into this displacement. Okay, this B matrix is nothing but multiplication of these two matrix and it is called as elemental stiffness matrix for isoparametric so same procedure now we can apply we have applied in previous examples like for one dimensional two dimensional problems we have applied so similar way we can here apply our penalty approach like we can apply the boundary conditions so which displacement is zero which one is not non-zero so apply the boundary conditions then which displacement is zero then eliminate these rows and columns and finally you will get some uh, short of some uh, limited equations and by uh, 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 by uh, determining or solving these two to three equations you will get final strains or uh, strain values or displacement values okay so this is the way you can solve or you can get the displacement values if uh, strain values first you will get the strain values then you will get the stress values then you will get the forces Okay, this is the way you can solve this isoparametric solve for uh, you can get the uh, displacement values for the isoparametric element. Okay, so this is the derivation for this derivation it will be asked for 12 marks in your examination. If it is asked, then it will be asked for 12 marks for uh, and the question will be like that. So derive the elemental stiffness matrix for isoparametric element. Okay, or up to Jacobian matrix, if it is asked to derive the uh, Jacobian matrix for the isoparametric element, then it, it will be asked for uh, six, only six marks. Uh, the such type of derivation will be asked for six marks up to Jacobian matrix. But if it is asked to derive this B matrix, then it should be asked for 10 to 12 marks in your examination. So this is not this is the elementary stiffness matrix for the uh, isoparametric element. Okay. So in next lecture we will solve one or two examples. Okay, on this on this matrix, uh, on this matrix calculation, or on this uh, for this elemental stiffness matrix, there is not any example will be asked in uh, your exam. But for Jacobian matrix, there is a chance to ask questions to determine the Jacobian matrix for the given isoparametric element. Okay, so we will see some type such type of examples in next lecture. And here I am concluding this lecture here only. So thank you.